In this Learning Byte for Windows Small Business Server 2011, we'll take a look at licensing. So this is the first in a four-part series, and today we'll look at license assignment and use rights. So to get started, I just wanted to point out that uh, this training is intended to kind of summarize and highlight the key concepts uh, around licensing. But for official use rights for volume licenses, uh, you can refer to the volume licensing product use rights, uh, and you have a link there. And for OEM or retail copies, uh, you can refer to the end user licensing agreement or EULA. So to get started, the first thing that you'll need to do is uh, actually assign your SBS server license to uh, a server that you're going to run it on. So you can assign either Essentials, Standard, or the Premium add-on on up to one server. So once you've actually assigned a license to a server, then you have the right to run as many instances on that server as the software a license allows. So that statement is really around the SQL component of the Premium add-on, which you have the ability to run as many instances of SQL on uh, the server that you've assigned the license to. You can also assign other software licenses to the same servers, so you're not restricted to just uh, installing SBS. And also, uh, OEM licenses are pre-assigned to the server, so that is a very key distinction when uh, do making a purchase through OEMs. Now, I wanted to point out some rights that you have in terms of assigning the premium add-on license. So for SBS Essentials and Standard, it's very simple and you always assign the license to a server and then run the software on that server. But for the premium add-on, you have a little bit more flexibility. You can run it on a single server or you can optionally run it across two different servers. So the premium add-on is Windows Server 2008 R2 standard technologies and a copy of Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2 standard for small business. And you can choose to run both of those components on a single server, or you can choose to run the SQL component on either the uh, SBS Essentials or SBS Standard server, depending on your SBS environment. So you, you have that flexibility uh, when using the premium add-on. So just to kind of step back and talk very briefly about some licensing basics, the terminology that you'll see in the licensing documentation talks about operating system environments. So we have virtual operating system environments, or basically virtual machines, as well as physical operating system environments, which basically just run on physical hardware. So I just wanted to quickly introduce those concepts. Also talk about licensing mobility. So when you install and run on a physical operating system environment, for volume licenses, you can actually move that license assignment once every 90 days to new hardware. For OEM licenses, keep in mind that those are assigned permanently to the server with which they were purchased. So you cannot move that to a different hardware. Also, when we talk about uh, virtual operating system environments, there's really no licensing constraints around how frequently you can move VMs around. But keep in mind that when you're moving an instance, you must be sure that the destination location has an appropriate license to accept the VM. So again, when we talk about OEM licensing, we cannot move that, uh, that license to a different physical hardware. So do keep that in mind. Now, when you're using SBS 2011, for essentials, you may install as a physical or virtual machine that's supported from both a licensing and a technical aspect, and you may use up to 25 accounts. So there are no CALs. Uh, you just have the right to use up to 25 user accounts. And each account permits then a named user to access and use uh, that server software on that server. In contrast, SBS 2011 standard uh, uses the CAL model. So you may be familiar with that uh, with previous versions of SBS or with uh, Windows Server Standard. So you need to assign a CAL to each user or device. And again, like previous versions of SBS, you can have no more than a total of 75 CALs. And again, you can run this as a physical machine or a virtual machine. So whichever is appropriate for your environment. Now, again, some restrictions that have been in place for uh, a long time, uh, pretty much always for SBS, uh, around the Active Directory domain services. So this applies to both essentials and standard. Your Active Directory domain must be the root of the forest. 
uh, SBS server must be the root domain controller and have all of the flexible single master operations roles or the FISMO roles. It must not be a child domain and it must not have trust relationships with other domains. Basically, this is intended uh, to keep SBS from being run in large enterprise or corporate environments. It's not intended to be a branch server that's part of a large uh, enterprise active directory environment. It's designed, it's priced, and it's licensed to be run in small business environments. So finally, when you're using the premium add-on, again, just like Essentials and Standard, you can run it as a, a physical machine or a virtual machine, but it must be joined to an SBS 2011 domain. So you must run it with a copy of Standard or a copy of Essentials. You cannot run this uh, separately outside of an SBS environment. If you choose to run it as a virtual operating system environment, you may also run as a physical operating system only to provide that uh, hardware virtualization software, so Hyper-V as an example, or to provide the uh, hardware virtualization services to run the software to manage and service the virtual machines on the server. That is exactly the same licensing rights that you have with Windows Server 2008 R2 standard. And we'll have another Learning Byte video that talks in much more detail about virtualization, but that's kind of the quick overview in terms of uh, usage rights. And finally, the SQL Server Standard Edition for Small Business. You can run any number of instances on a single physical or virtual uh, operating system environment. You can run it uh, only if it's joined to the SBS 2011 domain. And you can choose to run this, the SQL components, as I mentioned earlier, on the Essentials or Standard Server. So that is a very quick introduction to a server license assignment and use rights for SBS 2011. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll join us for future videos.